Good morning, friends. It's Pam from Pam's Crafty Heart. It is Friday, October 11th, 2024. So happy Friday, everybody. I hope you will all have a wonderful day today, and I hope that the weather will be nice for you wherever you are. Here, not so much. 66 and cloudy. So it's going to be cool and just gloomy today. I would like to share a couple of things with you guys that I have either finished up or am currently working on. Just wrap up the week a little bit. Um, let you know what my plans for the weekend are. Um, my thoughts and prayers are still with everyone that has been affected by Hurricane Helene and also now Hurricane Milton. I hope all of our Yarny friends are safe and well, and I will keep everyone in my thoughts and prayers. I am currently working on a few projects um, for Christmas presents. I am making um, matching ponchos for my son and daughter-in-law, and I had started it the other day and showed you guys show you how far I've gotten on one of them. And it's in the color called Raindrops. This was in my Mishi Dibs bag. It is the Lion Brand Wool Ease. It's a medium number four. And right there is the color called Raindrops. Someone had asked me about the label, so I wanted to show the label. It's actually very soft. It's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So, and it's actually very soft. I can't really feel the wool in it. I also am making my daughter-in-law's mom a half circle eyelet shawl when I showed you the other day I wasn't very far so I have gotten this far on it just working on it a little bit here and there and that is with a yarn arts flower cake and I'm also working on a small lap blanket out of the rest of the Schitt's Creek yarn that I had left over. I had some of the tan and the uh, boho brown, gray, and yellow left. So I'm just going to make a small lap blanket out of that. I also want to make a blanket out of this. I had gotten this from Dory did it at her Shop My Stash sale. I had seen this beautiful turquoise sparkle yarn, and I had gotten three of these. It's the Red Heart Comfort, and each one of these has 600 yards. So I have three, so that's 1,800 yards. And I believe that would make a beautiful blanket for Boggy Creek. So I would like to do that as well. Um, so many beautiful blanket stitches out now of just, I mean, gorgeous stitches. Many people have been putting them out. Um, I've been watching so many people. And just because I'm not talking in the chat doesn't mean that I'm not there and I can't see what others are saying. Um, we have a couple of catty ladies out there. And I made this. I want to see if you guys can maybe guess just by looking at this what it is. I made this for my granddaughter 
a while back and Mr. Crafty found it and he was going to give it to the school and I was like, no, you're not giving that to the school. I will show you guys what it is. It's a wind catcher that I had made. pretty cool. <laughs> They're very easy to make. Um, my head granddaughter had seen one on a video. She was watching a kid's video and she's like, mommy, mommy, can you make this? And I was like, I've never done one before, but sure I can try for you, sweetheart. <laughs> and so I made it. I love to challenge myself to do things that I have never done, and she was very good at challenging me. <clears throat> she would find things, and she would just be like, Mommy, I bet you can't make this. I'm like, well, how much would you like to bet? I'll bet you you take me to Dairy Queen for a Oreo cookie uh, mixed ice cream thing. I was like, all right, I'll bet you. And I would tell her all the time, well, I just can't do it, so I guess you win. She's like, well, you didn't try hard enough, Mommy. Try again. <laughs> I would let her win just so I could take her to get an Oreo because I liked them too. <laughs> but um, usually I could make things that she would ask me to make. It might take me a while, but I would do it. So those are our, the three current projects I am working on. Like I said, two matching ponchos, the shawl, the lap blanket. Um, I did finish the Agatha shawl. I believe I showed you guys that. Um, that is going to a very sweet special friend. Um, oh, I did make a Christmas blanket too. Hold on. I made this last Christmas and it was just some yarn that I had gotten. I believe I got this from Hershner's, the yarn. I think it was Hershner's. I can't remember, but I want to say it was from Hershner's. Um, my granddaughter had wanted a Christmas blanket on the back of the couch. And I said, well, I guess I could make a small one just to throw on the back of the couch. So if you get cold after school or something, you know, you're watching your shows, you can just grab it and have it. And she says, okay, mommy, that sounds good. So, I made this. It's folded in half. But it came out really cute. I believe it was the blanket stitch I used. Yeah, it's the blanket stitch. So, but it's a cute little blanket just to have on the back of the couch for Christmas time. Um, so there we go, guys. I have showed you everything that I have. I am working on a diamond painting. It's already out on the dining room table. Um, I sh showed you guys all of them. It was the one with Jesus in the water with the doves and he's, uh, praying. I'm doing that one right now. I do have some others coming from Timu, um. Hopefully we'll be here shortly. Um, other than that, guys, that's about all I have for you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay crafty, my friends. And I will see you guys on the YouTube streets. Love you guys. Bye.